Good morning. Uh, my name is Josh Smith. I'm currently the uh, superintendent for the new Air Force's Battlefield Airmen Preparatory Program. <clears throat> and uh, about a year ago, uh, I was brought down there to start this program up, and we were able to create a program, get it up and running in about 121 days. Typically in the Air Force, it's about two to three years to start a program. Um, so when we looked at uh, what do we want to do, one of the things that uh, really hit me was we're in the Air Force, technology is what the Air Force speaks about, and we have zero technology in the human performance world of monitoring what's going on. So when we tell leadership that this individual doesn't cut it, it's usually subjective um, information versus objective. So what we wanted to do was create a program that we could constantly be monitoring what's going on. And during our program, it's a crawl, walk, run. We are not a selection. So we use this data to, be, to better um, educate those individuals of what's going on with their body. Um, so we then can turn around and teach them with our subject matter experts, our psychologists, nutritionists, our coaches, ATs, how to fix those. So when they leave and head to uh, their selection programs, what that will end up doing is like, oh, I feel this way, I know that I'm dehydrated and this is what I need to do to get back into hydration. I know I'm calorie deficient, this is what I need to do to get into, uh, get some more nutrients on board. Um, so we look at this in a subjective and objective way. My first class that we ran, we allowed them to see some of the data that we were using on the wearables um, and it did not go well because they started training into what the wearables said. So we re-looked at that they don't see any of that data. They have a subjective side, so they have to answer what they feel. And then we look at what their answer was and what the wearables say um, to go ahead and then educate them on where they are. Our big thing here is that we did not want to have to push data into a system and pull data out of the system. We wanted it to all be uh, integrated into one database. Up to this point, when we did something, you literally have to go to seven or eight different folders in the computer, pull it all together, and try to create a report to determine what's going on with this guy. And we wanted to take that out of the equation, so everything gets fed into one central database. The coaches have this on their phones, so again, if they see something that uh, is a concern, they have the ability right there to, to do an observation, load it up, and it immediately loads right into the database as soon as they hit save. Um, <clears throat> as Tyler was talking about, this is the overview card. We built it as baseball cards. So what you see up there is uh, each one is a different baseball card for those SMEs. Um, as the overview, those are things that are picked out of each of those baseball cards that that SME wants everybody to be able to see. So the psychologist wants the coaches or anybody to be able to see what mood that individual is in. But a coach cannot click into a psychology card because he doesn't have rights to that baseball card. So that has a bunch of other data in there so as the coach, he, can, he only has access to certain cards, and the same thing goes with nutrition and AT and things like that. So uh, that was one of the ways we built this up to be able to compartmentalize and not let people get there. So this is a quick overview. The top things there is, again, based off last night's sleep. That's the sleep quality, which is bad, and I don't know what's going on because everybody slept really bad last night, so the AC might have been out down there. Um, Omega Wave, so he was in the yellow, hydrated. Fuel right now, we're working on the fuel piece of it. Um, we're in a new facility and we haven't got the computers completely switched over to be able to start loading fuel up, uh, the calories in there. But again, now the subjective side of the house, he's highly motivated. Uh, he has not, he's not sore and he's rested. And then he has no training modifications. He's in balance, but his last PT test, he failed. And as we go down this, we now look at the last, any observations. So here are observations. So we look at characteristic traits. These are the characteristic traits that we look at but they coaches can load this up off their phone or there's a form in here that they can um, input their observation and it gets loaded right into the database. So as we look at this, we can start going, okay, does this guy have positive, negative, or is he a neutral candidate? So that plays in the factor of whether we keep him. We have the last six days or five days of sleep data. This is everything that's on the front side of it, but if you actually go into a sleep data card, you will see every day that he slept while he was in the program to see if there's trends, but we're just looking at the last five days to see how did, he, how did he perform, or how did he sleep, which affects his performance. Then we look at the last seven days of Omega Waves. Uh, again, a quick snapshot, but you can go deeper in there if you want to see if there's a trend. And then down here is our Zephyr data. So this is every day that they train on a, outside the water. They have a Zephyr on them that allows us to actually look at this. The great thing about this is that if you go down here and you look at this gentleman, you know, at 104, those are 104 uh, three to seven G impacts on uh, that LRC, we can go ahead and look and see is that 
average for the class or is he higher? Um, one of the things that we found out is the guys on the running, because we can check the, that. We have realized that if they're on average of 31 G's per mile on three to seven, they'll be broken about 10 days because they'll have lower shin injuries. So now what we do is when they come off the run, uh, the run we look at those G impacts and if they're high, we immediately send them back over to the running coach and then the running coach works on their form to shorten their gait because they're most likely a heel striker and that's why they're getting so many G-force impacts. Again, this is stuff that we don't have to pull because each one of the SMEs has loaded up the parameters that they want to know, hey, what, what is a concern of mine? So one of the things is the psychologist, she, there's a seven questions that they answer as soon as they wake up. One of them is, is there anything significant happened in the last 24 hours? If he clicks yes, she automatically gets a text message that says Joe has something significant happen in the last 24 hours. She can go ahead and send him a message back and say, hey, why don't you come to my office between 8 and 10 and let's talk about it. Or she can look at the schedule and say, oh, he's down at the track this morning. She can go down the track and say, hey, man, what's going on? One thing that we have found with the kids, they don't want to come up and tell you what's wrong, but man, they have no issues putting it on an iPad and tweeting what's wrong with them. So we have uh, all students are issued iPads um, with all the forms and everything in there. And this is how we bring all the different wearables into, the, into this is through the iPad um, to, to allow them to tell us what's going on without them physically having to come to us. And then we can search them out. Here's our last set of ability tests. So right now, because we're mainly physical, we don't have academics. But if you look at the next phase, there's academics in there. So you'd actually have the academic piece of it um, to go along with it. Um, one of the good things is, again, when you look at the baseball cards, there's seven of them up there. If I hit a performance failure report, within less than two seconds, it's going to pull all the data that I need to be able to present that to the leadership to say, do we keep the guy or do, we, or do, do the guy um, leave? So if I do something simple as a performance drop, click it. Right there, just built up everything that I need to present to the commander if we keep the guy or leave, uh, leave him there. So this is the nice thing about it. When you look at academic, you look at uh, performance, you look at attitude, these things all build reports. So I'm not taking five or six different pages printing out from different systems to present to leadership. It combines everything right then and there. Um, all of our stuff for, that we use has to be API compliant and be able to feed into to Fusion Science Smartbase. Um, and we have not seen any issues yet with anybody um, that we currently have contracts with supporting it. So that's a quick little glimpse of, of what, how we apply it. <clears throat> and again, our big thing is we don't want to have to pull information. We want information pushed to us. Um, and it's all pushed via text messages to our SMEs.